Ready? Music. Music is all around us. Music can define a culture in a matter of moments. From jazz in New Orleans to Celtic in Ireland, each area has its own definitive music. Southwestern Virginia, just like any other place, has a music of its own. This music is typically found to be country or bluegrass. But that's not the only thing that comes from this area. Um, whether you enjoy it or not, it's good to know that the Mountain Lap Dulcimer is from this area and actually originated here. Today I will talk a little bit about their history, how they are made, and how they are played. To start off with, let's look back to this area several years ago. The people that settled here were mostly Scotch, Irish, and German. As you can tell, Scotland looks a lot like this area. Um, the Germans thought, and the Scots-Irish thought that this area looked like home, and no one brought anything but their necessities. After they settled in, they wanted entertainment. Well, what else is better for entertainment than music? The Germans originally had what is called a Scheinhalt. According to Collins' German Dictionary, a Schein is a piece, and a Halt is a piece of er, is wood, timber, or lumber. This Scheinhalt was a variation of a zither. As you're probably wondering, I know I wondered, what in the world is a zither? <laughs> Well, according to the Encyclopedia Brit Britannica Online Edition, a zither is any stringed musical instrument whose strings are the same length as the soundboard. Scots Irish were used to bagpipes. They loved the droning sound that they were used to. Well, with the droning sound of bagpipes and the zither style, we managed to get the Melton Lap Dulcimer. This is one that my father made. Wow. Now that we know a little bit about the history, we can talk a little bit about the make of a dulcimer. There are two common shapes, the hourglass shape and the pear shape. There are many other shapes out there, but those are the most common. Dulcimers were originally made fretless. When making a dulcimer, the artist makes the pegboard first. Then they bend the sides using either a steam pipe or a jig. A steam pipe is when they heat a piece of metal pipe and then they wet the wood and the heat and the wet pulls the grains in the wood so it will bend without breaking. And of course that produces steam. The sides of the dulcimer, as well as the bottom of the dulcimer, is made out of hardwoods. These hardwoods will not allow the sounds to resonate as well and get much sound. These woods are such as maple, walnut, and cherry. The soft woods, spruce, hemlock, and cedar, are used for the top, so that when the sound doesn't resonate at the bottom, it will go through the top and you have your sound. The original instruments most likely used hide glue to put them together, like some sort of animal such as horse glue. Strings, tendons, and sinews were used to, er, sinews and tenues, tendons and sinews, sorry, <laughs> used to make the strings. Dulcimers are a sweet, melodious sound that you have probably heard before and don't even realize it especially if you've watched movies from around this area. The first three strings are tuned to the same note. The drone is a fifth lower, or however the musician wanted it to sound. They would typically t tune it in a C D tuning, but they would tune it to however they wanted their voices to be. Each dulcimer is played on a simple scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Anything that you can sing, you can probably play on a dulcimer because the sound is such a simple one and it's kind of similar to a piano. Just a simple scale and you can do pretty much anything with it. In 
closing, we learned about the history, the make, and the playing of a dulcimer. This, this instrument originated in this area due to the people wanting a source of entertainment. And it was easily made from the resources around this area. <coughs> it's played on a simple scale, and anyone can play it that wants to. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson on a unique instrument native to our region.